Howdy there, folks. Uh, yeah, so it's been a while since I've actually worked on any kind of project here. So, um, got a pretty special one that I'm really excited about. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a full-on frame build from basic bare scratch parts. Uh, I ordered a little frame, a tubing kit from Nova Cycling supply and um so yeah got it and it's gonna be pretty sweet um you know like i say i'm pretty excited i'm gonna be using the welding table that i made a little while back and you know hopefully it works out um you know i'm kind of just winging this whole thing this is the first time i've done a full-on frame build i've done a couple drop out onto frames and then the last one i did my fixed gear bike that was uh I don't know, probably a, maybe a halfway frame build, but this is going to be the full-on real deal, so I'm going to video document the whole thing and see if it works out, um, you know, good or bad, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but, uh, you know, I'm welcome for constructive criticism, whatever, you, you let me have it, you know, if I can learn something, you know, I'm basically, I'm very limited on what I have to use here, so um tooling wise so we're just gonna get right to it and kind of just see what happens so st stay tuned we're gonna i'm gonna make a um a, it's gonna be a series so i'll probably start with this first one and hopefully week to week i'll update it and um just kind of go from there so i'm not sure how long it's gonna take but the sooner the better i'm hoping so anyway yeah let's get started all right, so essentially this is the bike that the frame I'm going to build is going to replace. And bottom line, this bike is too short this way. Got way too much seat post sticking out. Actually need a little more. And effective top tube length is just, it's a little bit too long. So uh, this, this bike is, uh, it's kind of my rainy day commuter bike that I don't use it much for anything. I started racing cyclocross on it several years ago. It was a bike that was just a trash frame that I kind of resurrected my, actually my first welding project. But anyway, it served its purpose and we need to go with a better platform, so to speak. So that's, that's basically what this frame is going to be about. It's going to be a, a bike to commute with in horrible conditions. And, you know, some of the guidelines I wanted to do, I wanted the, the rear end to be long enough to be able to fit a fatter tire, you know, maybe up to a 32 or so with fenders. And, you know, at the same time, if I want to do like some gravel type riding, you know, epic gravel rides, maybe get into a little racing or something, I could get as far, as big as a 38 to 40 um, millimeter tire within this frame and it all clears. So that's the objective number one. Um, actually, number one is going to be has to fit and feel like my uh, stand, you know, my, the the race bikes that I'm using nowadays. And so it, you know, I can jump on it. You know, I'm not putting a ton of miles in crappy weather on my race bike, and I have something to ride in the crappy days, wet days, snowy days, etc. So that's what this bike is going to be for. Um, yeah, so it, it basically I want it to to feel like you know it's not gonna my stack of reach is gonna feel basically like my race bike, but it's gonna have all the clearance things of a fat tire, fenders, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's basically the gist of what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so basically what I did to get this whole thing planned out and started, I drew a basically a blueprint of exactly what I wanted, you know, I'm just kind of going off of my, the current bike I have now and what I wanted out of that and my my road race bikes that I've had the last two or three and then my cyclocross bike. I kind of basically drew up a little um, diagram that I think is going to work. And, but I, you know, honestly, this whole thing, I'm winging it. I know there's several great software programs and I've actually got a few loaded on my computer, but I just decided to, you know, I knew what I wanted. So I just do it, drew out a, just a life size blueprint there. So basically the way I went about doing this was I started, 
you know, I just basically went off the bottom edge of the paper and I established my axle line, which is, you know, I just basically drew a straight horizontal line all the way across. And then from there, I knew I wanted my bottom bracket drop to be seven centimeters. So kind of started doing it there. And then this is, this is the, where the bottom bracket shell will be right here. Center line, that's you can kind of, from this point, you can go off the center of the whole bike and go from here. So, <clears throat> um, I knew where I wanted my, the rear drop at was going to be 430 uh, millimeters from that point to that point. That was going to give me plenty of clearance for tires and fenders, etc., etc. Um, so, you know, got my axle line. I just went ahead and drew an indefinite line all the way across and, um, you know, from here I went with the whole stack and reach thing. I do quite a few bikes at the shop that we measure out for folks. And, you know, this is kind of one of the measurements that we go off. So, uh, going off from the center to the top of where the head tube is going to intersect, I wanted to go with a 56 centimeter uh, stack. So, that's this line right here. And this is, we're going back horizontal to you know, a straight 90 degree from where I initially started, right off the bottom bracket. And my reach is 39 centimeters, so that, that leads me right to the center top of the head tube. And so then from there, you know, I knew um, that was going to be the center of that. And then I, you know, I established my, I think I wanted to do a 73 degree head tube angle. So, you know, measured that out and then just basically... Uh, I already had my fork that I was going to use for this project. Took all the dimensions off that. Um, it is a taller fork and I determined that it would work with my fender. It's basically exactly what I was looking for. This is one we just had at the shop coming off of a, like a warranty bike or something. So um, bottom line on this thing is it's, it's very economical. I'm using a lot of parts what I had on hand, tooling that I have on hand sold a lot of old parts to buy the tubing to build this so this the, i guess kind of the um main concept is going to be that it's a budget very you know least amount of money for the best quality work you can get so that's what i'm shooting for so basically going off you know with my fork that i already had on hand i you know established going off from here you know, and starting down to my axle line, I d I'm <clears throat> determined from the dropout to the crown race how much had room I had to work with. And we got uh, 12 millimeters of the lower cup, you know, crown race, etc. And then from there I can determine that, um, you know, the length of my head tube, which was, is going to be 125 millimeters. So I'll probably cut it just slightly long and then, you know, once I get it all welded up, it, you know, the metal distorts a little, so I'll face it from there and um, everything else where the cups press in real nice and kind of go from there. But anyway, backtracking a little, I got my stack and reach, um, you know, and then kind of from there I went my angle on my seat tube, which is, uh, I think we went with about a 73 here as well. <clears throat> um, you know, so initially the frame is going to be a 56 centimeter and that's where I, I uh, marked it off to but you know come to find out I mocked everything up and the seat post that I had planned to use um, just wasn't quite long enough I had this seat post on a previous bike I had so you know my, my the seat tube that I got with my frame kit was long enough so basically just I extended that up to there and this is going to be where the top tube intersects and then intersects to the head tube so basically you draw it all out like this you know kind of gives you a nice visual and then you, you can I basically just measured up my you know my, kind of my angles from there um, you know not super difficult um, so basically it looks like we got a head tube to top tube is a 79 degree miter cut there and then 57 degree from the down tube to the head tube you know, etc. Down tube to uh, bottom bracket. You know, this is going to be pretty easy. C tube to bottom bracket. It's going to be a straight 90, so not a big deal there. Um, you know, just kind of going around, and I just kind of did the life size drawing, and 
um, you know, there's going to be some challenges mitering these, uh, my chain stays, but I, um, I, I haven't marked out my rear end, you know, kind of mocked it up on the other bike. Uh, but, you know, it looks like I shouldn't have really any clearance issues, but the, you know, really, the, I think, you know, kind of the way I've seen it done on, you know, most people do it is they'll get the, um, you know, kind of get it set up, you know, mocked up there and then weld the, you know, have your dropouts fixed and parallel to each other where you want them and miter your tubes on this end and weld that up and then from there you know have this fixed and then miter your uh you know miter these tubes for your bottom bracket shell so i'll probably try to do something like that you know i've got a couple of buddies that have some you know the fixtures but i, I want to just i don't know i'm kind of this is kind of a video that maybe somebody could follow that doesn't have a lot of expensive tooling to you know how i'm going to do it i'm just trying to figure it out as i'm going along so i'm sure there's going to be some mistakes and some things done wrong but you can learn from my mistakes and hopefully we'll we'll get it right but um yeah that's what i'm going to do here but anyway yeah this is the basic gist of where we're at um next step is going to be to miter some tubes um, I'm actually going to uh, weld this up or the main triangle on my welding table that I built so I'm going to make some little um, saddle blocks um, to uh, basically get everything squared up there's a video on welding tips and tricks where he uh, uh, Jody did a bike frame on that it's gonna be a very similar concept in this so stay tuned and we will get to that next on part two and thanks for watching.